Hi friends, as I had promised in this video, I will perform the load step response test for the buck converter circuit. So what we're gonna do is to generate this uh, load or the current pulse in the DC load, okay? So the low current would be one amp and the high current would be three amps because the three amps is the maximum continuous current for the, for the uh, buck converter, okay? and the DC load which will generate this uh, pulse continuously and then we will check the output voltage if it follows something like this black curve then everything is okay however if it showed this ringing on each pulse then it shows that the output is not is not stable and the buck converter is not tuned this is especially important in applications where the uh, load current uh, changes continuously. For example, if you want to design a, a power supply or the converter for the to be used in a vehicle or a car, consider this as a headlight. When the user turns off the headlight or when the user turn on the headlight, so a huge current will be would be applied to the output of the power supply. So the power supply should act uh, efficiently and the performance should be good otherwise it, it shows such ringing and instability at the output and it causes problem for the uh, connected devices in the car or in the vehicle in the next step i will go to the i will go and perform the practical test i will show you how this thing works all right now i'm going to configure the dc load just press the shift button and then CC. It goes to this section. The function is CC and the mode is continuous because we're gonna generate the uh, current pulses continuously. Let's go to the next page. A level, the low current level should be one amp. And the B level, which means the high current level should be three amps. And the A width is here and the B width is here. So we're going to generate a square current pulse. Let's go to the next page. Uh, the rising slew rate and the falling slew rate. So we can leave it as it is, a half an amp per second. Uh, let's turn on the output. I will go to the oscilloscope screen and I will show you the results. All right, this is the oscilloscope screen and I have already captured one of the events because one of my hands is on the probe at the output of the buck converter. So as you see, we don't see uh, any ringing at the output. This is just a switching noise, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it shows that this buck converter uh, has a good performance and it is already tuned. I hope you like this video. Give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.